Hey there, Popper fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we are playing Cycle Storm, my favorite Popper deck. I actually had a 5 0 with this exact deck list published about two weeks ago. I've continued to play it a bunch since then, and I love this configuration. A month ago, I won the Popper Challenge, and you can check that out in the card above. It's a really great video where I go 10 0 crushing the competition with this Exhume package in the main deck. And while well, I've continued to love it, I am still playing one more on the board. I cut one of the ones in the sideboard, but we'll get to that in a moment. One of the only changes in the main deck that we'll see is that we're playing three Architects of Will over Striped Riverwinder. And then in that video, I talk about wanting Blood Celebrant back, so we've added that in over the fourth copy of Lotus Petal. But where did Stripe Riverwinder go? It left because we have a new creature from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I'm talking about Mirror Shell Crab. And Crab is a 5-7 huge creature that doesn't die to a Gurmag Angler, unlike Stripe Riverwinder. And it puts itself to the graveyard, much like a cycling creature would with the channel ability. That said, it also protects itself with Ward 3. So this card does pretty much everything we want while stopping Relic of Progenitus and Bajuka Bog and everything else. So I am a huge fan of Mirror Shell Crab. And that's why we're not running Striped Riverwinder. This card is also really good in the blue matchups because you're not siding in something like a Shredded Sails to destroy a Relic of Progenitus. You just have a more natural answer built into your deck that's good all around. But in those non-blue matchups, we have Dissenter's Deliverance, which is a card I've really enjoyed. After my win, I started seeing a lot of graveyard hate, and Dissenter's Deliverance is just such a free card to play because it cycles for a single mana. And if we're already playing green for Naught to the Bone, the cost is really, really low to playing Dissenter's Deliverance. So I've just, I've really liked it. I know that I'm repeating myself here, but I want to get that point across that this card is so easy to play. It's so easy to swap out with cards in your main deck. And that is why we lost the fourth copy of Exhume. There's only so much room in the sideboard between Mirshell Crab and Dissenter's Deliverance. And the extra copy of Exhume didn't always feel necessary. So we're only playing three Exhume now. No need to worry. It's still a terrific card. Uh, it's just that we have to address how people are combating their deck against us. So those are the changes in the main, or main deck and sideboard, actually. Um, I think that's honestly about it. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave those down below. I do my best to answer all of those. But for now, we're gonna hop right on to, into round number one. I have to do my morning cardio. This is Cycle Storm. So let's go do that. I will see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Match number one, and we are on the play with Cycle Storm. Okay, so we have two Cyclers. The Ash Barons is a little bit awkward. Um... Honestly, I think that this is a keep. I know that we don't have a Black Source, but we have time. 
And that's one thing that I feel like people might over mulligan with this deck sometimes because you're really a deck that needs a lot of resources in order to win. So why are you always just like mulliganing into oblivion looking for reaping the graves or whatever? I just don't think that's the right move. Instead, you should just keep a volume of cards. It's a lot like playing ad nauseum tendrils in legacy where you just need everything uh, at your disposal and every mulligan hurts so much because it is a deck built on having enough resources. All right, so we haven't hit the black source yet, but we do have two more cyclers. That said, Horror of the Broken Land cycles for a black and not a colorless. So until we find that black source, we don't, we can't cycle it. Uh, but it looks like our opponent's playing the Is It version of fairies. Um, difficult matchup, but certainly winnable. And now they go to their turn. Island into Augur Bolas. Augur is a card you usually don't see in Is It, but here they're taking a card out of the Demir variant and just playing it in the, in the red one. Okay, so we're gonna cycle a creature here. Do we hit the swamp? No, but we did hit Lotus Petal. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to go for it here. We, we have a land drop still. Let's cycle. Ooh, Street Wreath was perfect because then now I, that gives me threshold for this Cabal Ritual. Let's go. Cycle it up. That's what you get for tapping out against me. How dare you? The disrespect. The disrespect. Cycle this Vantasaur. We still have a land drop open as well, which means that if we draw into an island, we can use the repository scob. All right, picked up another scob. Let's play these songs. Storm six. And... Reaping the Grave. So we're definitely going to return the Street Wraith, and then the other creatures don't really matter. Okay, so we have six mana floating. I'm sorry, uh, six creatures coming back with 14 mana floating. You could cycle each with the uh, with each songs on the stack, but you don't need to do that because you have so much mana floating that it's not a, a thing that's going to matter. It is best to do that when you're low on mana because then it keeps the most number of creatures in your graveyard possible for an additional Songs of the Damned if you were to draw it, but we're just not at that point where we need to do that. All right, so we have eight mana floating. We've picked up a couple of Reaping the Graves, which is great, but we need a blue source so we can play this Repository Scob into um, a Songs of the Damned. And there's another Songs. Let's cast Dark Ritual. Cycle these barren moors, see if we can find that blue source. Not quite, but I'll take all the extra mana. I'm not going to complain. All right, and songs, 21 mana. And 11 storm, so we get to return everything but one creature. Click through. Um, I'm just going to return everything. It's fine. Once again, we have so much mana that there's no need to cycle with Reaping the Graves on the stack. If you're interested in seeing that, keep on watching the video. It will happen at some point, I promise, because I end up doing it quite frequently. Cycle the Draineth Healer. Okay. We've actually gone pretty far into our deck without drawing a blue source, and there's the Blood Celebrant. So... You could just start playing your stingers here, but I feel like that's like sort of risky for no reason. So instead we're just gonna keep cycling and there's our blue land. And by cycling, we can fill our graveyard up with creatures and then use those to return Songs of the Damned into Reaping the Graves, which will guarantee give us enough mana to win because playing the four stingers costs us eight mana. We only had 12 mana floating at the time, so you don't really need to do that. And it just increases risk. And you might be thinking, well, you had Street Race to cycle into, but why worry about that? Like, that's one of the big things. It's like, with this deck, you're guaranteed to win as long as you play correctly and don't allow yourself to lose to corner cases uh, when you're in those situations, at least. Let's cycle the Architects. 16 cards left in Library. Cycle this Vantasaur. Cycle the healer. All right, so let's play this repository scob. And then we can exploit it, getting back a Songs of the Damned. 
and then we'll cycle this horror because we can and another songs the damned how lovely all right cycle that add a blue repository scob and this is one of the situations where we could do the let's go infinite because we can uh plays but like you just don't need to do that and that's one of my biggest issues is i feel like sometimes people do that stuff uh, because they want to feel cute rather than because it's necessary. I don't play two scob because I want to go infinite uh, Like that's not it at all. It's just I think it's better than mystical teachings So that's why I play it. I've yet to actually do the go infinite play where you have a blood celebrant You have double scob and then you can just use songs of the damned and reaping the graves to um, Continually loop them pretty much and then eventually you pick up like one cycler or two cyclers and from there you can um, gain a couple life with Draineth Healer here or there while drawing one or two cards and it, you end up building up infinite mana and that's the idea but it's just like so win more I think the only circumstance you would ever need to do that whoops I didn't mean to make white uh, the only circumstance you would ever need to do that is if your opponent gained like 200 life with Weather of the Storm and you're like okay like that that's something that matters one of the reasons to play cycling storm in my opinion is that it does not care at all about weather the storm like you can weather and gain 150 and i don't care where the relay deck actually it, it does not want to see weather the storm so uh that's one of the big things and i feel like cycle storm also is better at beating uh prismatic strands not that that really matters but it's a small edge case where i do think that the pinger deck cares a lot more about prismatic strands. Okay, now we're just cycling our way to victory. Cardio Dino. This Dino loves to cycle. And cycling architects of well. That's going to do it for game number one. Woot woot. One down and uh nine more to go, right? Because we're gonna 5-0 this thing. That's uh what we're going to do today. So we're facing is it? And let's board in our Pyroblast and the Mirror Shell Crab and the Exhum. So we have eight cards over. So one of the things we have to do is take out some cards. So I'm going to board out these Architects. I like boarding out the Ploy. I don't think you actually need the Ploy in this matchup. Okay, we're still a little bit over. I like boarding out, I think, one Repository Scob, just because we're switching to the Exhum plan a little bit. Uh, and that brings us down to 63. You can board out one land. And I think I'm going to board out a Baron more. You could also board out a Petal, or you can board out two creatures. Right now we're at 24 creatures, so I think you're actually allowed to board out a couple. Um, I think I'm going to board out one Petal and then like one Vantasaur. You could board out one Dranith Healer if you want. But part of the issue with boarding out Dranith Healer is that we boarded out Ploy, and you might need Healer at some point, so I think that this is fine. Good hand. Keep. We're going to go turn one Baron more, and then cycle Ash Barons for the Mountain. And I have a feeling our opponent's going to respect us a little bit more this game and not tap out uh, like they did in game number one. Ash Barons gets the snow covered mountain. There it is. Upkeep, we will go get our own mountain, not snow covered. I like my invasion basics, so that's what we're doing. I've used these basics literally my entire life, and uh, not going to change that. I started playing around invasion, and my basics are uh, a choice to honor that, I guess. Are you not Is it Fairies? Are you just the. Thing in the ice, or not thing in the ice, uh, Serpentine Curve Duck, is that what you are? Did I board incorrectly thinking that you were fairies? And by board incorrectly, I mean, I don't know if I'd board in Exhum versus uh, the Curve Duck, but you might. I don't have any strong opinions on that. We have a lot of street rates here. Let's uh, try to cycle them, see what I can find. Land number three would be nice, that's for sure. Reaping the Graves. Repository scob. And I could 
try to do something here. Hmm. Don't know if I should. It's tough without having songs, but I want to find that third land. And even if this is just a value, let's pyroblast that. So you are fairies. All right, so that's seven. We can cast this Cabal Ritual for Threshold. Cycle. Dark Ritual is a good one. Okay, Cycle Levantosaur. Another Pyroblast, Cycle Vantasaur. Give me Songs of the Damned, please. They're going to use their Evolving Wild, so that way they can just hit the F6 key. All right, land. Um, I think I'm actually going to play the land here. And then Reaping the Grave. So we're going to target a creature that isn't... Um, Horror of the Broken Lance. We want to leave Horror in the Graveyard for... Exhum, and we also don't want to target Street Wraith because we want to return those first. So one Street Wraith, two Street Wraith, three Street Wraith, and then Vantasaur, Vantasaur. So we can cycle these here, and by cycling them, we get to keep the most number of creatures possible in our graveyard for Songs of the Damned. That Cabal Ritual is a very good draw. Cycle the Dino. Another exhum, so we could put double big creature into play. Let's cycle here. And that might be the play. They will get to bring back a spell stutter when we're at eight. I don't love that. Let's bring back the horror. And then let's bring back imposing Vantasaur. We've played our land and passed the turn. So there is a small risk with this play, and that's that I gave up an extra exhum. So if they just go land scred here, I have a little bit of egg on my face. Um, that said, if I get to untap, I'm definitely in a good spot. We have this pyroblast also clear blockers, or potentially clear creatures attacking us because I did put myself to eight life. And then one nice thing about reanimating the Imposing Vantasaur is this line Vigilance, which means it, it can attack them and defend from a Keninja at the Deep Hours. And there's land four, Augur Bolas, so they didn't leave themselves with the ability to cast Scrad. Lightning Bolt, okay. And they're going to pass. Upkeep, let's cycle this Ash Barons. All right, and I think I wanna go get my Island. Draw. Let's get in there. Nine damage coming in. I think we just pass. We know that they have lightning bolt, so they should, probably should have attacked with the spell stutter. Two cards in the bottom with preordain. And now they're choosing to attack. Sure. Okay, so no blockers at the moment. They're at 17. Let's try to get in there. No blocks. How about a dark ritual? We're going to let that go. Cycle this. So this is 9 and then plus 4. That's only 13. I am dead to double lightning bolt. Unless I can pyroblast this spell setter at a good uh, time. Like if for some reason they tap out. Three cards. I think we're supposed to do it now. Okay. So if they have another bolt, I'm dead. I'm at three. And there it is. Okay. So that came at a cost of me putting myself too low with Street Wraith and I was punished. Uh, oh well. They're still game three. 
And game number three, we are on the play. This is a great hand, we're gonna keep this. Baron Moore past the turn. Island Fairy Seer, sure. Two on the bottom. Draw. That was a good one. So now we're just gonna pass. We might actually go for it on turn three if they tap out. Land number two. Fairy Seer. Is there a ninja in my future? No ninja. Okay, so let's cycle here. Dark Ritual is a good one. Cycle. Like the Ash Barons. Let's cycle this in our upkeep. Go get that basic mountain for Pyroblast. Draw. Okay, so we're going to go search up the island on the round step. Evolving Wilds. 18 life, and they're playing it fairly conservatively after the first two games. I don't blame them. Let's grab the island and then cycle this Dranith Stinger. Horror of the Broken Lands, that's a good one. Draw. We want to cycle this three, see if we can find Pyroblast or something. Another Reap in the Graves. I think I'm just going to pass. I don't feel the need to go for it quite yet. All right, triple blue source, you got it. So we're gonna be knocked down to 15 from the Fairy Seer. Oh, here's the ninja, uh, Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay, so they're definitely representing Counterspell or um, Spell Sitter Sprite here. And they're just passing. So we're gonna cycle the Horror Healer, Stinger, give me Pyroblast, and they're moving to discard, draw, Street Wreath Cycles to 12, Lotus Petal, let's see if this resolves, Cabal Ritual. Pretty juicy counter spell target, that's why I'm putting it out there. And they fell for it. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Lotus Petal. Songs of the Damned. And let's reap those graves. Return Stinger. This returns seven cards. So we have to leave one creature. Street Wraith, Street Wraith. And then some of the others. All right, let's cycle these. We're gonna go down to eight life. And there's another Songs of the Damned, which is exactly what the doctor ordered. Cycle the cycling dinosaur, cardio dino, as I like to call them. Dranith healer. Fire boss is a good pickup. Cycle this. Swamp. And healer. Ooh, blood celebrant was a good one. Are we at the point in the game where I can try to win? Probably not. Let's play out the Blood Celebrant for Storm. Actually, I don't need it for Storm quite yet. I'm gonna cycle these Baron more, see if I can get a little deeper into the dock. All right, cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle Healer. Ooh, Exhum, okay. Songs of the Damned, and let's Reaping the Graves. Let's return the Street Wraiths. Or then the other Dranith creatures. So we only have uh, 11 mana, so I could play out Double Stinger and start cycling. We'd be one mana short of a guaranteed victory. I'm gonna just cycle these. I feel like that's like risky for no reason. So I'm going down to two. All right, so now we can make that play. We have the songs. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was supposed to cast the songs. Whoops. Um, Sorry, it's early in the morning here. Please forgive me. All right, so let's cast these. 
I should be okay. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Cabal Ritual is good. Cycle. And we have it as long as I don't mess up. And by messing up, I mean cycling a Street Wreath when I'm at two life. Can you trust me not to do that? That's the real question. Given the opportunity, I do love to cycle Street Wreath, so you never know. All right, keep cycling. Cycle the healer. All right, and then cycle this Ash Barons. Nothing like killing your opponent with an Ash Barons, am I right? And we are 1-0 over Is It Fairies featuring Moon Circuit Hacker. I don't know. Are you really the best card out in Neon Dynasty? It's been a few weeks, and I think people are lower on this card than they once were. But here we are undefeated after the first round <laughs> huge sample size very very important data but i'll see you in match number two if you haven't joined them already i would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks they're each great in their own way but i would strongly suggest joining our discord server in there you will find others just like you looking to improve their storm game and grow as a combo community if you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two, we're on the draw. Let's keep this. We don't have to play out all of these Baron Moors, and that's just something to note because I feel like sometimes people look at hands like this, they're like, I can't keep a four lander. Well, this isn't really a four lander. Okay, so. I'm just going to go get my swamp here, and now we might be cycling more of these due to drawing an initial land. Likely is it, or I'm sorry, Demir Fairies. It's a Fairies League, for sure. I think that Demir usually ends up being the toughest of the fairy matchups, in my opinion. They have hard removal for your creature, so it doesn't matter how big Horror of the Broken Lands is, it's always removed. And then on top of that, they get discard and they tend to play more Relic of Progenitus effects than the other builds as well. Island from our opponent. It looks like they're just passing the turn. Draw. Songs of the Damned. I will not complain about that one. So we're just playing the Swamp and passing the turn here. No need to do anything else. And they're casting Consider. Usually a little bit strange out of the Demir Fairies decks, Snuff Out, but it looks like that's what they're playing today. And Snuff Out's definitely a card that represents fairies. All right, so we're going to cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands here. It's always better to cycle creatures before these additional lands. So ideally, we would draw a colorless creature. We did not. So we're going to cycle Street Wraith. Okay. Another song, Cycle Street Wreath. We're looking for another creature we can cycle off this island. We did not hit. Draw. That would have been nice. Last turn, Dranith Healer, you jerk. Cycle. Looking for a swamp uh, to potentially play so that way we don't have to cycle or don't have to play a Baron more. Alright, a dino. Let's cycle a dino looking for that swamp. Dino on its way to the graveyard. Ash Barons. Hmm. I think now we have to play one of these. You can't play Ash Barons there. So in our upkeep, we will cycle the Ash Barons for another swamp, but then next turn we'll double cycle Baron more. Main phase Brainstorm. Okay. This might be followed up with something like a Fairy Seer to bottom those, or even a Preordain. They also play Ash Barons as well as Evolving Wilds. So they have a number of ways of getting rid of these. Although you have to wonder if they're playing Consider, maybe they're not playing something like Preordain. Augur Bloss is also a way of getting rid of uh, Chaff in your deck. Counterspell. Sure. Let's cycle this Ash Barons. For that basic Swamp. Theoretically, if we drew something like uh, Reaping the Grace, we could try to go for it, but it'd have to be a pretty lucky draw. Draw step. Healer, okay. 
Let's cycle. Or the broken lands, we can cycle that as well. So you'd have to draw the reaping here in order to go for it, and we brecked. Okay, cycle of Baron Moor, and there's swamp number three. So that's the last basic land in our dock. Ice tunnel and auger getting in there. We will be knocked down to 15. Need to find that reaping the graves. We're 33% of the way through our dock, and there it is. Let's try to beat them with Cabal Rituals. We know that they have Counterspell in hand. They likely have a Spell Stutter as well. And they let that go. So let's cycle Baron more. Play another Cabal Ritual. How about a Songs of the Damned? They're just letting it all go. Play the Swamp. Play Lotus Petal. Songs. So we're playing out everything here because it's going to give us the storm count. And I don't want them to counterspell. So you could have done the thing where you hold priority on that Songs of the Damned. I don't like doing that there because we're trying to make sure everything resolves. And if I hold priority here and then cycle a bunch, they can use the known counterspell in their hand to just punish us. So it seems a little silly to me. We're three songs down, which means we only have one left, which is kind of risky. And there's another reaping, so that's good. Stinger. I can't help but wonder if, I, if Stinger here is, is wise, uh, because we might draw out the counterspell from their hand, or it, it forces them to tap mana for removal, so I'm good with either. Unless it's something like Snuff Out. And if it's Counterspell, I consider that just to be a win. All right, it resolved. That's a good sign. Cycle this healer. Pew Pew. Devour Flash. All right, so we're gonna respond and just keep cycling. Just keep cycling. Repository Scob, in theory, can get back a Songs of the Damned later. We will need our opponent to uh, use their Counterspell first. Just keep cycling. Cycle Street Wraith. Okay. Another Scob. Dark Ritual. Cycle. All right, so now let's try to Reaping the Graves. If they have another removal spell here, um, they can kill the Stinger. They might not. Interesting, they might only have counters in hand. Are they going to die with a counter spell in hand that they could have used? There's the last Songs of the Dam, but I don't even know if we need that. Okay, just keep cycling. So much cardio this morning. Okay, cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. And again, our opponent has seen the writing on the wall. We have taken game number one over Demir Fairies. Woot woot. You'll love to see it. So, I do like the Pyroblast plan here. And I also like Near Shell Crab. What I dislike is the Exhume plan. I don't think that's actually a good plan here. So I don't board in the Exhume and I actually board out Exhume because I'd rather just be more focused on doing what my deck does well, which is winning with, you know, the whole engine. Repository Scab can tend to be a little bit of a risk here because of Snuff Out. So I usually like boarding out one in this matchup. And then we're at 64, we can just board out some Architects of Will. And then we're one over, so it's either a land or a Lotus Petal. And I tend to like my land drops a little bit more in, in this matchup, so I'm going to board out one Petal. And that's it. Game two, we've opened up a pretty good hand here. Let's keep. 
ice tunnel. I'm not going to complain about drawing songs of the damned, that's for sure. Basic island and pass the turn. Cycle this healer. All right, Street is okay. Another Reaping the Graves, that's good. We might be able to use one of these Reaping the Graves as like a value reaping. Consider. So yeah, if I had a bet, our opponent cut Preordain for Consider because it's an instant, and that means that, that he can hold up Counterspell or Spell Setter Sprite, something like that. Ponder. Basic Swamp. So they still have Spell Setter up this turn. Oh, you don't want to tap out? Nothing bad would happen to you if you tapped out, I promise. I've never hurt anyone. Cycle. Let's uh, go grab a land out of the deck. Let's go grab that juicy mountain for our Pyroblast. Okay, draw. And dark Ritual. So we're actually a little bit light on creatures here, which is unfortunate. So maybe we will end up using one of these reapings as like a uh, a value reaping. Delver Secrets. I feel like this is a weird inclusion in my opinion, just because like Moon Circuit Hacker and a bunch of other things exist now. And I feel like Delver's just like a dumb beater that doesn't actually help you, but what do I know? I'm just an idiot combo player, right? Dark Ritual. They're going to dispel. Well, I'm gonna counter your dispel, I'm sorry. And then reaping the graves, returning our three whole creatures. Okay. Let's cycle this healer. Other songs, okay, draw. Could use a few more creatures here. We have a window. All right, cycle singer, come on deck. All right, Dark Ritual, Cycle of Stinger, Cycle of the Baron. I think I'm going to go for it. Let's Cycle Baron more. Please be a creature. There we go. Cycle. Perfect Cycle. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Need to play at least one songs here. We only have six creatures, so I don't need to play the second Reaping quite yet. Wraith, Wraith, and then the rest. All right, let's cycle these. Dark Ritual is a good draw. Repository Scob, welcome. Cycle this healer, Dark Ritual. Okay, doing well, cycle. Pyroblast. I don't know if Pyroblast is actually a good draw here, but I'm not gonna complain. Whoops, I don't want to cast you. Luckily, I did not have five mana floating or else it auto would have cast. Mirror Shell Crab. So we can use the crab to protect our repository scob, which is kind of cute. We're going to play the scob. Exploit it. Get back a Songs of the Damned. And now we can Reaping the Graves for turning scob again. Let's bring it home. Wraith, Wraith, Wraith. And then the other creatures. All right, I'm just gonna return everything here because I, I think I'm gonna start playing out creatures to win the game. We have 16 mana, it should be fine. Okay, and another stinger. And every day we're cycling. Boom. So I'm going down to two life. Once again, the only way I can lose this now is if I'm an idiot and cycle Street Wraith number four, so we're not going to do that. All right, cycle. Let's cycle this Ash Barons to pull a basic out. Grab that basic land. Cycle the Stinger. They're at six. We need three more cycles. Cycle the Sash Barons. Might as well play the land, right? Cycle this uh, for the Broken Lands. 
and then the dinosaur to finish off the opponent. Take that, fairies. Cycle Storm, way too strong. 2-0 over both fairy variants. I guess we could theoretically face Mono Blue and, you know, have the trifecta, but feeling pretty good. This deck is great. Let's see if we can finish strong. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot everyone's favorite storm wind condition, a galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live, eighth progenitor ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice, we've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Let's keep storming. It's the third match. We're on the play. Uh, these solo Ash Baron hands, we do have... Two cyclers we can use to help find that black source. I think I'm going to try it. It's a little bit risky. I'm aware. Especially on the play. If this was on the draw, I think it's a snap keep. All right, let's just cycle a healer and pray to hit swamp. Dark ritual, not quite what the doctor ordered, but if we do draw a black source, we can go ritual cycle exhum. Evolving Wilds, Cycle Stinger. Okay, forced to pass the turn. Swamp, interesting. Okay, so it's just Demir again. Draw, bummer. All right, so I'm gonna discard this Exhum. We don't actually need it. There's a Spell Stutter. Getting punished for my keep here. All right, here comes, oh, no ninja. There was a slight pause, so I thought there was a good chance it was ninja. And my deck hates me, why deck? All right, so I'm just gonna discard architects here. And another spell stutter, okay. Five cards in the opponent's hand, they're getting in. And here's the ninja, yep. Okay, so we know that they have Spell Stutter. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. I guess I was punished for my keep, but if we hit Swamp, this hand was amazing. And I'm just gonna pick it up. No need to keep playing that one out, we're dead. Go to game two. All right, so same board plan as the last match. We want those and the crabs, you do not want Exhum. Let's get rid of those. Take out a Scob, take out the Architects, 61, and then a Lotus Petal. Easy peasy. I mean, you could also take out the Ploy and keep in the Petal. Let's do that. It's not like we really need Ploy in this matchup anyway. Game two on the play versus blue black fairies. This is a keep. All right, we're just going to play swamp and pass cycle on their end step. Wilds, sure. Cycle the dino. Wraith, draw. Let's see if we can draw a land two here. That would be nice. Cycle. Ding dong. I think we're just going to pass here. You could play like the Blood Celebrant, but I don't think that's something you really want to do quite yet. I'd rather just start cycling. It's sort of a slow draw with the double Evolving Wilds. Rear Dance. So this is technically a window for us to do something because they're tapped out. It will depend on what our draw step is, but we'll see. 
two to the top. I don't like the sight of that. All right, and let's cycle. Cycle again. Four cards in graveyard, reaping the graves. Cycle the stinger, I suppose. Dark ritual. Another cabal. I think we're supposed to go for it. I mean, it stinks that we're using songs here as a cabal ritual, but I think it's the correct uh, choice here. Cabal ritual. We have threshold. Cabal ritual. Cycle the Baron more. Another Cabal ritual is good. Blood Celebrant and Reaping the Graves. It's only for five, but it's something. So I could play Double Stinger and then Triple Cycle. They don't have any removal up. But like we're also not winning the game from that, but I, I do think it's going to be tough to win the game from where we're at anyway. Um, but I think you're supposed to just keep cycling and not bother trying to play the stingers. All right, cycle healer. Keep cycling. Keep cycling. All right. So Scob can get back songs, but we don't have any mana, so... There we go. Now we can keep on trying to win. And that's why you keep cycling instead of just like taking uh, a Dranith Stinger or whatever. So technically it's a little bit better here to play, whoops, the Scob first because you get one extra mana out of it. We'll exploit it, get back the Reaping. Whoops, come on, quit sacrificing for white. All right, Songs of the Damned, Reaping the Graves, Returning Scob. Wraith, Wraith, and then the others. Okay, keep cycling, 12, 10. We've already played our land. Healer. There's another Reaping, but we need more mana. That's our choke point right now. Keep cycling. We had another songs, I think we're guaranteed to win, but right now we're living on a very thin margin. Cycle. All right, cycle. Ah, oh, we fizzled. All right, hit that F6 key. We have to discard one. I think we just discarded an Ash Baron. Oh, discard two. I mean, if you think about it, that was a successful turn even though we didn't win. Like, our opponent's pretty far behind now. Upkeep, let's just go get that island. Draw. Get in there with the Blood Celebrant. Do we just play Stinger? <laughs> like, I feel like that's not the worst, and I can still Pyroblast off the Blood Celebrant. And they're resolved, okay. Preordain. One to the top, one to the bottom with the preordain. Relic, sure. I mean, it's still effective, but it's a little bit late. We're not going to cycle draw. Let's get in there for three. Play another stinger and pass. So you could cycle here trying to take advantage of the crab. I don't think that's really what this game is about anymore, so you just let it go. And if we can untap next turn with crab backup, I don't think there's a chance we can lose. Let the fairies here go. Two to the bottom. All right, let's cycle the Street Wreath down to eight life. They'll take two off the Stingers. Lotus Petal, Cycle Horror. We'd like to find another Cycler off this. Ball Ritual. Okay. Songs of the Damned. I think we just get in there. 
We could just block the celebrant, that's fine. And then they'll take eight or take four down to eight. And now we have crab backed by pyroblast. Countered. And now we crab the auger. Get crabbed. So we have a pretty easy win on our turn. We can just attack and then um, reaping the graves into a few cyclers. Uh, yeah. Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. Sacrifice for Black. And our opponent's seen the writing on the wall. Alright, so game three coming up. I'm just going to hit submit. Game three. This is a pretty good hand. I would like a second land over maybe this Blood Celebrant, but there's no chance that we ship this. Our opponent takes a mulligan to five. Imagine they're just hard mulling for the Relic. Island? Fairy Seer, okay. Draw. Swamp Pass. They did one on top, one on the bottom with the Fairy Seer. Preordain. One on top, one on the bottom, and it was... There's the Relic. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Um, yeah. So they found their ace. Draw. So we can go Dark Ritual, Blood Celebrant, into Stinger. And they only have two cards. I mean, I don't know how we're supposed to win with our current hand if we don't do this. They're definitely in the driver's seat. They found their one of Relic. If they have a removal spell, I think it's just lights out. So sometimes if you have hands with more lands in them, you can beat the relic just by being patient and then eventually finding your crab. But here we're just so tight on mana that that's not really a choice that we have. They put two on top of the preordain. Yeah, we're dead. That's a bummer. Okay. Let's see what our draw is. Sure, let's cycle, I guess. I'm going to call it. All right, so we lost to the opponent that drew double relic in the post board games. Nothing to be upset about. 2 1 is still very good against one of our tougher matchups, in my opinion. I'll take it. Two more rounds left to go. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, time to battle in the fourth match. We're on the play. Great hand, keep. My opponent takes a mulligan to six. All right, swamp and pass the turn. All right, so they're on the, the red Boros deck. All right, another horror. We're gonna play the Baron more here. I'm gonna be lazy and just cycle. Tree Wraith is a good draw. So we're looking for a Songs of the Damned and a Reaping the Graves at this point. This Boros deck has been incredibly popular over the last few weeks. Cleansing Wildfire to accelerate, that makes sense. Draw. Let's cycle these. This could be a go turn depending on what our draws are. Not quite what we needed. I don't think I want to exhume. I feel like that's just not the plan we should be on. Cycle. Pass the turn, did not hit the land. And another cleansing wildfire. Sure. 
land and spare parts or whatever it's called spare supplies draw all right i'm gonna burn a dark ritual here so that way we can cycle a little bit more this turn cycle the healer cycle vantasaur and we have bricked i mean if i can draw a reaping the graves we just have a win but i have to get to that point Sky Fisher, yep. And the spare supplies again. We're all out of cyclers, and we're 33% of the way through our deck, so I just have to find it before we're dead. Boros Garrison, sure. Come on, deck, please, Reaping. Cycle the Baron more. Womp, womp. Pass the turn. At some point, I would have to consider bringing back Healer to potentially gain some life. I don't know. Like, if I draw a Cycler for turn, that might be a play I need to make. Uh, the Experimental Synthesizer, and they revealed another Cleansing Wildfire. Yep. Because from 13, they could just burn me out next turn. Their deck is just, like, 9 burn spells. They have four Galvanic Blast, four Lightning Bolt, and then like one Fire Blast, depending on the list, and another Core Sky Fisher. All right, so we're going to 13. Next turn, they have five in play, so I'll be at eight. That's just two Gav Blasts. Um, let's just cycle, I guess. And I bricked 37 cards in deck. We never found um, Reaping. I'm just dead here. So they attack for five. I'm at six. I'm dead to double bolt or both gav blasts. I'm dead to pretty much anything. And if you're thinking, well, if repository scob was a mystical teachings, I get it. Sometimes your deck just doesn't function. Uh, but it is better in more games with this configuration. There will be games like this where you lose. It happens. Like, I'm not going to be too upset about that. Um... Yeah, we just didn't even have it coming either. Okay. No worries. So now we board in the forest and these dissenters for a relic. Here, I think you can probably board out a single Baron more, and then you can just swap out the architects. Actually, I don't love Exhum in this matchup, so let's take those out and do this instead. This just like isn't a matchup that you should be ever be trying to beat down. Sure. It's also often mentioned, especially in the Storm Discord, which is free to join if you open up the description down below. People wanting to do this plan where you run like one Exhum, one Mystical Teachings, one Repository Scop, and in my opinion, and you don't have to agree with me, that's like trying to put one foot in a bunch of different baskets. Like you're not actually good at doing anything. You're just sort of bad at doing everything. And I'm not a big fan of that strategy. Boros Garrison, sure. Okay, let's cycle. And again, okay, draw. There's a reaping, cycle the dino. And all four dino are in the graveyard. Cycle Street Wraith. We did not hit our land. Pass. Egg. Sure. Ooh, they have Bajuka Bog. So I was punished for the Street Wraith cycle. Hmm. I think I'm just going to play the Baron more. That hurt. All right, I'm going to just play the Celebrant, I think. I want to keep the Bearmore back for cycling. A lot of lists aren't playing this, so I wasn't trying to play around Bear, uh, Bajuka Bog. That also tells me that I should... Oh, they have Spellbomb, too. I was going to say that tells me they don't have Relics, but here they have both. This is not normal. Uh, normally, this matchup is a Cakewalk. But we do have this Dissenter's Deliverance. 
I was going to say we could cast it off Blood Celebrant, but we just drew the forest. Destroy the spell bomb. Sure. Get in there. Synthesizer. Lightning bolt. Killing the celebrant, that's fine. Spare supplies is back. Burrows garrison. And they picked up the bog. Went hawk. Okay, so I'm just gonna cycle the Baron more here. If they want to exile just the Blood Sovereign, I think we let them. Draw. Swamp. Alright, pass the turn. Synthesizer again. Lanes. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna go get the island here. Their plan might be to like try to bog me or something to cut me off green. Going to 16. We know that they have a Bajuka Bog in hand. Glenhawk again. So they can pick up a synthesizer here and then get the card off it. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Skyfisher, sure. Playing Skyfisher. Gav Blast. So they chose not to replay Bog. All right, let's cycle. Cycle. And cycle. I think this is going to be our turn. Untap, draw. Dark ritual. Cabal ritual. Cycle horror. Actually, din board and flaring pain, which is something I maybe should have done. I just realized that. Cycle. Cabal Ritual. Um, I'm going to do the whole priority trick here. Maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. I think I just bring back all the Cyclers. I don't think I want to bring back the Celebrant. Maybe I'm wrong. Cycle. And again, another songs is pretty good. Cycle. Hi -o. Go to 14. Cycle this. Dark Ritual. Let's uh, return the horror here cycle. Bring back the stinger. And then I'm gonna cycle this. We can pull another land out of the deck. And then cycle the stinger. So that way this makes nine. Another reaping the graves is terrific. Play the land for turn, play Lotus Petal. Songs of the Damned and Reaping. This time we will return the Blood Celebrant. Stinger, Stinger. And then everything else. And now we should be able to just try to win the game. All right, Blood Celebrant. Let's make some red mana. Stinger. And again. Cycle Horror. Okay. Just keep cycling. Our opponent has a lot of graveyard hate for what it's worth. Bajuka Bog and Nile Spell Bomb is not normal. There's not even like, I think we're pretty much like the only graveyard deck in the format as well. So it strikes me as a little bit weird. Uh, if you're trying to beat the relay deck, graveyard hate isn't actually good against them. Just a heads up. All right, so I'd like to do some research right now. We're gonna go to Goldfish and look up this uh, Boros bounce deck because I don't think that they have, they're gonna label everything as Boros Bully. Uh, I don't think that they actually have, um, oh, they do have strands. But this is like an older build. This isn't the deck that I'm thinking of. Um, that's not the bounce deck. Let's see if they separate them. 
I don't think that they do. So we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to type in player slash Hyzean. This is the Ephemerate deck. Let's look at the recent decks. We have some time. Minute and a half. We're not hurting anyone. This is Red White Burn. Is that accurate? This is going to be the deck we're looking for, I think. Yeah, this is uh, it. Yeah, this deck doesn't have the prismatic strands in it. Not that our opponent doesn't, but let's look at Parallax's list. Rites of Initiation. Yeah, there's no strands in this deck. I think I'm just going to resubmit. This is fine. Okay, pretty reasonable. Keep. Opponent takes a mulligan. So these are the sort of hands that can naturally beat a lot of graveyard hate. Uh, because the the plan is to not play into Bazooka Bog. And they're going to Wildfire. Or Relic. And then eventually you can just Dissenter's Deliverance. Let's grab the Island draw i don't want to grab the forest too early like if because if they wildfire me here i can't cast the dissenters deliverance spare supplies sure also by grabbing island they might hold up pyroblast where they normally wouldn't and there's a spell bomb so we're gonna go cycle grab our forest and go to our turn. Dissenters pulling up the spell bomb. They're gonna exile our Ash Baron, so well. Yep. Pass the turn. Dissenters has been very good for me. Even if I don't win this match, like that card has just been so good. Another spare supplies, yep. The Raven Inspector. And another spell bomb. Jeez. Our opponent has a lot of graveyard hate. Wow. I'm going to cycle one healer. Draw. Okay, I'm just going to pass. Gwen Hawk. We might tr be trying to be doing one of those things where we play into the spell bomb and then dissenters it and then when they go to sacrifice we go like songs of the damned reaping the graves or whatever i just don't know if sitting here is the correct move all right so we're going to take one down to 19. let's cycle a healer and another healer and another healer quad healer draw so i could play scob here trying to get back the dissenters the problem is pyroblast or lightning bolt or anything else gets in its way hmm yeah drawing the extra scob was really bad here okay i'm just gonna play the uh the scob i guess if I don't, I have to discard a card or play more into the spell bomb, and that's not something I really want to do. They're going to let me exploit here. I will get back the dissenters. Okay. So I think, that, like, obviously, I don't want to have five creatures removed, but, like, I think that's ultimately fine. Um, and I can cycle here. I should probably do that. Pass the turn. So two spell bombs down. Lightning bolt. Sacrificing synthesizer the hard way, another spare supplies. Lightning bolt. Boros Garrison picking up a planes. So they have three cards in hand, one of which is a planes. 
We're at 13 draw. Baron more. Let's cycle the Baron more. I think we're just going to pass. I don't want to play Nabujuka Bog. They have five damage coming in. So I'm going to go to eight. I could be dead here. That was annoying. Um, shuts me off the repository scab. Cycle the dino. So we're taking five. I pretty much have to draw into um, reaping the graves in order to win here. We do know that they still have a planes in hand. Red being firebolted. Three cards in hand, one of which is a planes. All right, so best possible draws are we need Reaping the Graves, but also more creatures. Blood Sovereign's not going to do it. I mean, it's fine for Scob, but we need Reaping. Dissenter's Deliverance. Ugh. Uh, cycle, hope to hit. There we go. Okay, so how do we do this? We have six cards in Graveyard. I think we have to burn one songs here. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. So I can play Blood Celebrant into um, Scob. The problem with doing that is it puts me down to four life, which means that I'm dead to a Galvanic Blast. So I think I'm just going to return my three creatures here in cycle. All right, not a very likely situation for us to win the game, but it's theoretically possible. Something, something, so you're seeing there's a chance. Uh, yeah. Okay, just keep cycling. Lotus Petal. So at least we don't have to pay life for that. Another Dissenters. So that does put me dead to Galvanic Blast. The question is, can I afford to play around it? We have all four of our Dranith healers exiled. All right, I'm going to sacrifice this for a green and cycle. Sacrifice for a blue and play the scob. If this gets power blasted, we're just dead in the water anyway. Exploit. Return the Reaping the Graves. I mean, am I supposed to play around Gav Blast here? They're 33% of the way through their deck and they haven't played one yet. A little over, actually. They're so likely to have one. All right, I'm going to try to play around it. It's I could end up fizzling because of it, but I think they're likely to have it, so I'm just not going to play into it. We only have three mana, geez. Maybe I should have played into it. Cycle. Cycle. All right, cycle. Cycle the Architects. So we're technically still alive. Odds are not looking good though. Cycle. So if I spike a songs, we could keep on going. All right, so we have to cycle the Baron more here. Did not hit. Now I have to cycle or else I'm dead. Songs of the Damned. I'm dead to Lightning Bolt now. So we're just playing into everything here. Exploit. Quebec Songs. Cast Songs. Reaping the Graves, Returning the Scob. Reaping. Okay. I think we're supposed to return the Street Wraith just in case we hit the Dehada's Ploy. 
All right, so they're just tapping out. Uh, let's cycle. We're not out of it yet. Come on, deck, please. Oh no. Mm. How many Cabal Rituals? We have one Cabal Ritual left. How many songs? One songs. We have one songs of the damned left. So the odds are we fizzle here. We have one songs, one Cabal Ritual. If I cycle the Street Wraith right here, we are giving up on the idea that I can Dehot Deploy without also drawing the final Lotus Petal. Okay, um, and if I cycle Street Wreath first, it keeps both the last Cabal Ritual and the songs open, where if I cycle the Stinger first, I only have the songs open, so we have to cycle Street Wreath. Didn't matter. Cycle Stinger, and we fizzled. Uh, I've definitely played a land this turn. Uh, let the rest of it resolve, I guess. I'm pretty sure I've played a land. Yeah, I've played my land. All right, let's cycle the Architects. We're just dead here. We didn't hit it anyway, so let's... Uh... Oh, it's not going to let me. All right, so I'm just going to concede. Uh, we are now 2-2. Two and two. I mean... We fought through double spell bomb here thanks to Dissenter's Deliverance. I'm aware we're 2 2. Even if I finish 3 2, it's not the best result. Like, it's fine. But the stack is showing a lot of fight, especially when you look at what we face so far in this league. Triple fairies into red white that typically doesn't play Bajuka Bog or spell bomb. And we fought through, you know, quite a bit of hate so far. Uh, and there's a reaping, but yeah, we just weren't going to hit it. Oh well, maybe I should have cycled the Street Wraith uh, on that critical point. That said, even if I had cycled it right there, we would have saw one additional card, which wouldn't have been the hit that we needed anyway. So it's not like it really ended up uh, mattering, but, you know, not a bad match. Can't complain about that. Let's just see if we can win the fifth and final round. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The final round. We are on the play. Let's see if we can finish strong. I think we keep this. It's a little bit slow, but it's fine. Opponent takes a mulligan. We've had four pretty tough matches today. Uh, honestly, an, an easy one would be nice. Let's play Barrymore and pass. Nope, not an easy one. All right, draw. Let's cycle the Sash Barons. I'm actually just going to grab a Swamp here. So it's pretty free for us to try to just like check our opponent with the, the horror on our turn. We're just gonna cycle if they have the cast down we're not really losing anything with the exhume we're just casting our spell um so the upside is we could possibly win and the downside is like we wasted a card that doesn't really matter anyway um we could double horror here let's do that so i'm gonna cycle the horror I guess if I do that, I'm actually giving up. T All right, I'm going to just play it slow. Because then I have to burn a Songs of the Damned, and I don't want to do that. Okay. They're getting in. Ouch. Okay. Draw. Let's get in there. Ah, yeah. Let's cycle horror. Okay. Damage. Brainstorm. Looking for the removal spell for the horror of the broken lands. Okay, so they let it go through. 
I might have just lost that on two points of damage because I think maybe I'm supposed to go get a blue source here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I think I just lost that on two points of damage because I'm going to get the island here. Island and pass the turn. Terramorphic Expanse, okay. And another Fairy Seer. So they're likely going to attack with this. Yep, we fall to 18. And I'm going to cycle the healer here. I know that, like, I'm theoretically missing out on damage. They have a blocker. And I want to try to get this other horror into play anyway. Let's cycle the architects. Ideally, I'm trying to get them to counter something this turn, so that way I can get this second exhumed to resolve. Dark Ritual. Come on, please spell stutter it. There you go. You've fallen directly into my trap. And now we exhume, getting back the other horror, the broken beat down. Getting in there. So we're putting them on, you know, check. They're going to have to start leaving things back or else our horrors are just going to crush them. The one nice thing we're experiencing right now is I think our opponent hasn't found a cast down yet. All right, so they might have a, uh, a ninja here. They do. Uh, so they haven't found a cast down yet. And Snuff Out doesn't kill horror. So that's sort of nice. Although they do get to draw off the ninja. Sorry about my dog. Um, so now we know that they have a guaranteed two blockers. I think we just attack. Get in there. Uh, let's cycle Vantasaur. It looks like they have one cast down. All right, so they found one cast down. Not the end of the world. Let's cycle the Street Wraith, because we do have a window here. If I was to draw Reaping, we could theoretically go for it. And I did not. Uh, let's cycle the Stinger. Cycle the Ash Barons. Pass the turn. So we do know that they still have a Spell Stutter. Fairy Seer. Two on the bottom. Ninja is certainly keeping them up this game. Draw. Let's get in there. Hiya. And they wisely block. And I'm just going to pass. On their end step, I'm going to cast a ploy. Cycling Ash Barons, sure. They just bottomed like four cards this game with Fairy Seers, so they just shuffled those cards back into their library. I think I, I don't I don't know if I love that play. Ninja connects. And they found another cast down. That's a bummer. Alright, so this is our window here to potentially draw into uh, reaping the grave so that way we can win the old-fashioned way. And we can beat the spell stutter because they can only counter one Songs of the Damned. I think we just discard the, uh, the Scob here. Cycle Vantasaur. I mean, we're almost halfway through our deck and we haven't found a reaping yet. Cycle. There we go. Should be easy peasy. Dark Ritual. Songs. Sure. Let's play Scob. Even if this gets destroyed by Snuff Out, it's still an extra creature. And it did not. Let's return the songs. 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 Reaping the Graves. We'll return Scob. And then some other creatures. Uh, Horror, Street Wraith, Horror. We've used both exhumes, so I could return another scob. My fear with doing that is what if we don't draw into a blue source and then I have two dead scobs in my hand? 
the upside is if we have Blood Celebrant, you're almost guaranteed to win. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Uh, I guess we shouldn't cycle that yet until we find out what these cyclers had. Because what if I fizzle, right? You, like, you just don't want to burn a Dark Ritual. Cycle Horror. Reaping's good. Cycle. Keep it going. Cycle Architects. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. All right, we've got it from here. We just have to go through the motions. Lotus Petal. Sacrifice Blue. Exploit. Let's get back that songs. Songs. And now we're going to Reaping the Graves. Returning just the two scobs here, I believe. I guess we have 20 mana. All right, I'm just going to return everything, I guess. It's just the infinite mana thing is never like a realistic practical play, in my experience. Oh, I meant to click on the scob and I didn't. I was like, oh, I'll click on it with the last one. And I went back up and I counted one short. So that's my own fault. Um... Because I could have gotten back both, and instead we have one left in there, but it's not going to matter. Stinger, and just start winning the game. Cycle. And again. I guess the one nice thing is our opponent's at 12, so we don't have to do a whole lot of cycling in order to win. Okay. And as you saw, Horror... It was fine, but ultimately, both horrors ended up being a little bit short. This is just not a matchup where the Exhume plan is that good. Okay, and now we can just cycle a few times. Pew, pew, pew. All right, and that is game number one. All right, so let's bring the Pyroblast, Mountain, and then these Crabs. Get rid of the Ploy, brought out one copy repository scob, get rid of these Exhumes, 63 cards. I think I'm okay boarding out a Petal. Um, no, I'm going to bring the Petal back. Let's do this. I'm sure if you watch my videos, you're like, Bryant never boards the same way. That's actually true. Um, I end up changing my mind a lot and just trying different things. Like sometimes I feel you don't need the ploy. Sometimes based on how my opponent's been playing the match, I feel like I want it. You have to make those uh, adjustments on the fly. I think if you just live by like these rigid rules, you don't really get much better as a player, but take it with a grain of salt. I'm not the best player on the earth. I'm just someone that really enjoys playing combo. Uh, unfortunately, this hand doesn't have a land. This would be a snap keep if this Lotus Petal was a land. Sure. I think we bought him um, Dark Ritual. You could argue that maybe it should have been Crab. Um, but I don't think Dark Ritual is like that crucial to our early success in this matchup anyway. And if they have Relic, we're definitely going to want the Mirror Shell Crab. Augur of Bolas. No cards. Classic. Classic Augur. All right, we're going to cycle through Wreath here looking for land number two when we found it. Go grab our mountain. Pass the turn. Ice Tunnel. Augur knocks us down to 17 life, and they're just going to play it safe and pass. Let's cycle this Draineth Healer. It's re -re number four, okay. <laughs> Let's cycle this looking for land three. There we go. Pass the turn. You don't want to overextend into Relic, so that's why I'm not just cycling all of the street rates. You don't want to tip your hand. Like, your opponent thinks that maybe you only have a couple cyclers. So why show them that that's not the truth? Long pause on the block. No ninja. Duress. All right, so they can take my Pyroblast here. Um, 
We could also just take the songs. They took the pyro. I'm not surprised by that play, if I'm being honest. Whoops. Uh, Cycle Street Wreath. Blood Celebrant. Not the worst, because we can use it for blue for the crab. But we didn't draw into Reaping, which is what we really needed. Cycle. Pass the turn. Okay. So now we go down to nine life. Draw. Our opponent's hand is clearly just like all counters. They're not doing anything else. Pass. Augur knocks us down to eight. And here they're going to ninja. So this could be a window to win if we were fortunate enough to draw into reaping here. Draw. Not quite. Let's cycle Baron more. Bummer. All right, so we lost our window. Pass the turn. All right, so we're at seven. I mean, we know that they have an auger, so our life total, especially if they have like double spell stutter, we could be dead pretty soon. Preordain. They're already up to seven cards again. They were down to four at one point. Draw, come on deck, please give me reaping. You son of a gun. Cycle. Let's play the Blood Celebrant. Let's see if they're going to counter that. All right, Blood Celebrant's on the table. If they want to cast down it, sure. And I will block. It guaranteed buys me a turn, so I think that's just worth it. Fairy Seer. So if they play Augur here, they're representing lethal with uh, a spell stutter. Two cards to the top, that's scary. Cycle the healer. Swamp. Okay, draw. Kidding me. Alright, so... It's not looking good for the home team. That's for sure. So we're taking three here. We have to draw into reaping with this final draw or else we're just dead. Okay, this is it. There we go. All right, so let's start on a ball ritual. They know that we have songs. Depends on how many counter spells their hand actually is, in my opinion. And they let that go. That's a good sign. Cabal Ritual. And they decided to counter that one. I'm going to let that happen. I don't care. I think you're supposed to go after the first Cabal Ritual if you're going to go after any of them. Because now my mana isn't affected. And I'm going to attempt to Mirror Shell Crab the Spell Stutter. Does this resolve? So this is kind of cool. Uh, we get to respond by casting Songs of the Damned into Reaping the Graves, getting back Mirror Shell Crab, and then I can counter this counter spell. Um, yeah, so Storm's 9. Let's target Celebrant first. Crab, and then everything else. Sacrifice for blue, and I'm going to crab the counter spell. This is a pretty sweet line. Mirror shell crab doing it all. Okay, so you'll notice the songs only has two uh, creatures in graveyard. I have to make a decision here because. We can't cycle four of these, right? Like, that's just, like, something that's true. Is I, I can't cycle four of them. Um, 
I think I'm going to cycle at least a couple of these. So my game plan here is to play Blood Celebrant and then play Draineth Healer and then use Healer to gain life so I can cycle these. And I think that's fine. So we're going to let that happen. I'm going to play Celebrant, go to one, play Healer, and now cycle Stinger. And I go up to two. Okay. Now I can go to one again, play another healer. And now when I cycle Vantasaur, I can cycle these three wraiths for free. Okay. So we're not out of it yet. All right, let's cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle healer. Okay. Reaping. So if I hit another songs, we win. But I'm running pretty low on uh, cyclers at the moment. Have I played a land? I have not. So I can play this and then cycle the stinger. Pedal. I actually probably should have held that. So I think I'm supposed to just reaping here. Return everything. So there is a small like miracle that we actually win this turn. Not that I think it's the correct play, but you can quad cycle street wreath. And if you hit the last Lotus Petal, because there's one Lotus Petal left on your deck and then a ritual effect, you can keep winning. Okay. Cycle the Street Wraith. Cycle. Keep it going. All right, let's see what our four new cards were. So one of them is Songs of the Damned, but we did not hit anything else, so we have to move to discard. Probably get rid of a lot of this stuff. I don't know if we want triple pyroblast i think we can discard one of those sorry i'm like leaning into the camera like a real jerk um i don't know do i get rid of crab yeah, let's get rid of the crab why not all right so this is our hand it's been a wild match and I'm going to trade a healer with the ninja. Like, I think that's acceptable. And another ninja. Okay, so they have spell stutter in hand. We have to remember that for our turn. Five mana. Draw. All right, let's attempt a Cabal Ritual here. Let's Pyroblast, counter target spell. And now we'll add a red. Counter the spell stutter. Cabal ritual. And they just made me a whole bunch of storm, which is very, very nice of them. Play another stinger. Um, so I could play stinger here, but I'd lose the force spike. Force spike isn't a card that sees a lot of play out of those decks, but sometimes there is a random spell up here. So I'm gonna play songs. And then we can go down to four life, play Stinger, and Reaping the Graves. Okay. Return everyone, and then we should be able to win the game. Okay. I probably could have returned a few more street rates. Like, I do have a healer in play. And our opponent's just going to concede. So we faced four fairies decks. We defeated three of them. You know, like that shows something about Cycle Storm. And then we lost to a good matchup. Like the Boros uh, bounce deck is a good matchup. That said, our opponent had the cyborg cards dedicated to beating us. I'm not going to sweat over that. Sometimes that happens. Uh, live and move on. Uh, you can't get upset when your opponent decides that they want to win a matchup and then they do. Um, 
you know, it's a part of magic. You're not going to win all the time, but I love this deck list. If I was to play in the challenge tomorrow, because today's Saturday, I honestly wouldn't change a single card. I think that this 75 is so, so, so good, but let me know what you think. Perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps you have a better idea. I know that we had a few matchups that were nail biters because I didn't find reaping for a long time. I still don't think mystical teachings is correct, but if you want to play teachings, you could probably cut like both the exhumes uh, and then repository scob for like another cycler, basically going back to like a previous iteration. I don't think you're allowed to play um, like a, a half-assed package and excuse my language, but if you want, like, there's no reason to ever play one exhume, one repository scob. Like, I don't know. Like, that's just garbage. Don't do it. Just play something different. Play an older style or something else. But that's how I feel. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. But also, follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.